Hello and welcome to Gymnasium Gmod Nerdery channel and we will be doing the third part in the basic wire mod tutorials. We will be making a VSC AD controlled turret. So for that we're going to specialized and we want to just spawn a base plate like that freeze it. We're going to the wires tab directly and here we are scrolling down until we find wire physics wheel and here we can choose different models of wheels for this construction we want a quite large wheel um, and we want the friction to be quite high is best and just left click it to spawn it now we want to spawn some other structure. We want to go to robotics and choose uh, this model. Remember that you can hold E and shift while moving around props to align them in well per perfect degrees and sharp angles. It's very useful. We want to no collide this by right clicking it so we can, it doesn't collide with anything for this prop. And we also want to hold the wheel and shift E so we can align it straightly also. Like that. And now we want to choose two arms that will be holding our weaponry. So we will choose these two arms, like here. Moving them around. And it's very useful if, if you have the Smart Snap tool. So you can get up this grid. I have activated mine so I only activate it on uh, E so that we will access them in the well the both two in the same places and after we access them we're going to weld these two together and we're going to weld this one to the wheel now we want to go to wire, physics, and here in the middle you see hydraulic. Uh, we will uncheck fixed if it's fixed, it must not be fixed and it must not be winch mode. So the speed, uh, I set the speed to default uh, 16, like that. And we want to place and place the controller. So I do it again here. Left click on the first spot, left click on the second spot, and then left click again to spawn the controller. Now <clears throat> we will go into weights tool to check the weights because these are a bit too heavy. Um, the base plate we want just really have it just pretty sure we make it a thousand oops all oh, right um, wrong controller we make this uh, above a thousand so uh, set it to weight a thousand this wheel we want to be the weight of 200. And we want the weight of this staff here, pillar, to be 100. And we want the two arms to be somewhere around 40. It's not exact, but, um, well, somewhere around. That should be working just fine. So now we're going to choose a... Uh, control panel or something just uh, somewhere to wire everything up so we just choose this or any other small prop now we go into wires tab 
and we scroll down until we can find advanced pod controller which actually is named pod controller and it's up here under wire one slash zero pod controller left click to spawn it and now we're just going into the vehicles tab up here go to shares and we're going to choose a share we want to use we want to use um, like an airboat set seat so we right click on the wire pod controller right click again to the seat and now they're linked uh, we place the seat um, where we want it and just directly we want to weld this seat to this wheel now we want to go into wires tab again and we want to choose weld latch so we first click left click on the wheel left click on the base plate and left click again to spawn a controller we spawn it here and that will lock it into place um, so we won't uh, wobble around well now we're going to spawn some gates uh, we will begin with the easiest part we will begin with the up down movement of these arms and as you can see they're from up and down which means um, I want to connect them up that in and out is the one we want to connect in we want to connect to S on both of them and out we want to connect to W no not length out that's right and now we check if it, if it works W holding and holding S it works per perfectly fine now we want to do the rotational movement round and round we will just uh, unfreeze this whole contraption a bit it's um, activated this well latch they're activated when you spawn them so now we will go into gates up here on wire control you go down in the list here artemic gates click the plus sign spawn and add gate we will choose it just a bit larger bit larger gates like that add gate and i also want to scroll down a bit until i find negate like that negate and I also want a subtract gate. We just pre spawn all the gates, and we also want another add gate. This stuff is um, these two gates are to unlock the weld latch, and these are to move the wheel so we can change the movement of the wheel um, afterwards so it doesn't really na matter how we wire it up currently we wire go left click um, I mean I, I'm doing it again hover with the wire advanced controller left click on go left click on this add gate A we will connect to the neg negate gate so it's connected left click left click B, we want to connect to A in the pod controller, like the keyboard A is that. And further on, we want to connect A from the negate to the D. So we will go inside and see if we can rotate around something. And well, we can't do that yet because our weld latch is still. Con is still 
activated. So we will wire the activated onto the subtract gate, which means it's not activated now. Um, we can try it out. And well, it's very fast. That's because this wheel is a bit stronger than we actually need. However, that's no problem. We go into wire again. We are already in wire. Wire physics. Wheel. Here, torque. We just remove a zero and it's much less. Left click on the wheel and it's updated. Okay, let's try it again. Much better. Though we have one problem and this is that. It's, uh, I mean, now I press D. I released it, I'm rotating around. And that's what we need the weld latch for. So, now we will connect up the weld latch. For doing that, we must also spawn a constant value. That's under wire 1 slash 0 constant value. And you can choose the amount of numbers you want here. We just want one value. And we type in 1 in this little text bar here. So we spawn our wire value here. So um, now you must be sure to connect A from this subtract gate to this wire value. You can connect B, then it gets wrong. So A to that. Uh, B, we want to connect to this add gate. A, we want to connect to A. B, we want to connect to D. And now we have connected up two um, inputs from this um, add gate to A and D of the keyboard, which makes these two keys unlock the weld latch by putting in a value that uh, negates and uh, that uh, subtracts the one, which means it gets unactivated because the weld latch is activated on value one. So now we're going into this. Oops, I accidentally changed the rotation from change it back like that. Now, it locks into place like that. Isn't that nice? And we can control the whole contraption and we have a fully movable wired VSAD turret. Now we want some weapon systems. And um, we will be choosing regular wire. So we're going into here wire mod turret, choose any model, um, well, it can be nice to have some bullet spread. I'm, you know what, we're going to make a shotgun turret, um, bullet spread quite much, increase bullet force some, delay should be somewhat more, damage should be around 50 bullets per shot should be seven. Let's choose a shotgun model like there and another one like there. And now when we just, I, I just left clicked. That's how you spawn them and then they're automatically welded. So fire from this one to mouse one, fire on this one to mouse two, and we can go inside it. And the nice thing with wire stuff is that you can see the spread is all too much. So we will go into turret, we will decrease the bullet spread quite much, and we will also want a sound. So we click on this down arrow sign here and we just choose shotgun sign. And we left click the turrets again to update them. Now we can go inside it. And this is a much better shotgun turret. Like that. Um, something you also can do 
to make some nice effects is that you look at the delay 105 you can press ctrl c to copy that you can just type in it also and if we want to go to wire you see here and wire render here fx emitter shotgun shell paste in our value or type in it in so it matches the delay of the of the guns um, we will be spawning this and these look uh, very ugly where we spawn them so we will spawn them on the ground so we manually can uh, put them where we want them and I want them like this in the top like that and we want to weld them let's click left click let's click left click and now of course we want to go to wire advanced on we connect this one to mouse 2 on we connect this one to mouse 1 by left clicking so here we can see it uh, i freezed it whoops like that we can move bang, bang. So well, now we have created our wire VSAD turret. It's a basic wire turret and it works per perfectly fine. Um, if you're a user of ACF, you can use this type of turret also for lighter ACF weapons. And we will just be trying out our little turret. Well, thanks very much for watching and if you like this video, please subscribe uh, and like the video and, um, well, try to make this. If you don't get something in this tutorial, just ask me uh, in the comments. And, well, tell me also what types of more content you want to see if you have any ideas or something. Well, thanks for watching. Gmodism out. On some zombies. Bang bang. So it's very effective. Haha, I had crap.